pelvic pain uh, has been one of the most difficult areas to treat and to diagnose uh, in women and something that makes many, many women absolutely miserable for a lifetime. Uh, and ultrasound um, has been incredibly well suited uh, for the detection of why somebody would have pelvic pain. Nowadays, patients with pelvic pain come in and they often get a CT scan or an MR scan. And then finally, they come to ultrasound because neither the CT or the MR have been able to figure out what's going on. And uh, usually with ultrasound, we're able to figure out what's going on. And so for many years, people thought, well, you have to have a CT or you have to have an MR for the diagnosis of endometriosis or for the diagnosis of appendicitis and all these things that might cause pain. Um, and nowadays, we know that ultrasound is actually better. Uh, and we are trying to change uh, the approach, uh, particularly in the uh, emergency ward, for example, where patients with pelvic pain will get a CT scan before they even see a doctor for the most part. Um, it reminds me of a patient that we saw recently, a young uh, girl who <clears throat> is actually in college near Boston. And uh, she came to me after three months of pelvic pain that was on and off, uh, really quite debilitating. And she came uh, having had a, an MR, uh, actually probably two MRs, uh, and having been diagnosed as having a pelvic infection, uh, and then she was treated with antibiotics and then another MR and then she felt a little bit better and then it waxed and waned and it came back again and she was told that she had a thickening of the um, uh, fallopian tube, a hydrosalpinx. And finally, after spending uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, she came to me for just an ultrasound, a pelvic ultrasound. And what she had uh, was an inflamed appendix. What she had had was appendicitis three months ago. And they had misdiagnosed it with much more expensive technology and had treated her with antibiotics for an appendix. She's lucky she didn't rupture it. And uh, we made the diagnosis, and off she went to the OR, and uh, it was taken care of. So why ultrasound is not first in every case of pelvic pain, I don't know. And that's what we have to change. That's what we have to change, because not only is it less expensive, but it's better. It's better. And CT scans now, which are being um, given to lots of young women of reproductive age, uh, are dangerous because of the exposure to radiation. And that exposure is actually cumulative. So it's not like you can have a CT scan and then wait for several years and then have another one, and it's not like uh, you never had one. It, it adds. Every single CT scan adds, and it adds a significant incremental amount. Um, so um, I am delighted that we are doing this project uh, because I think that it is very timely.